Well, we did a scanning of the Malay Muslim voluntary sector and we recognised that there are strengths within the Malay Muslim community and therefore if we could harness those strengths, bring them together to a common platform, we'd be able to raise the effectiveness of our projects in dealing with the community challenges. And that's how the CLF came about. Mendaki acts as a secretary to the CLF. What we bring to the table is a certain target setting, certain criteria, certain sense of governance that we think is important. At the end of the day, we must not forget that every year we report back to the community the success or lack thereof of the CLF projects. And therefore, there's a certain sense of accountability and transparency. I believe that Mendaki has grown in terms of, of you know, playing the secretary function. I think um, um, beyond the uh, agency that looks into the funding mechanism and the monitoring of the targets and goals that we want to achieve through our programs, I think um, we have actually uh, played the role of adding value to the ideas and um, with, with, our, with the information and the insights that we have to add on to the programs and how the programs can be further improved and enhanced in order to meet our, our community targets and, and uh, goals. Over time, we've increased the number of partners and today we have 49 strong, including some non-Malay Muslim organisations. So it shows that the CLF is an effective platform to harness the strength of the Malay Muslim voluntary sector. Working together, we have the four networks of education, youth, family and employability. And today, we are moving along along the four networks with many projects involving a wide cross-section of the Malay Muslim community. The Education Network uh, under the CLF aims to organise a lot of long-term and short-term projects uh, to improve the performance of Malay students in mathematics in particular, science and other key subjects. The big challenge for us is to take advantage of the opportunities to move to higher levels of education uh, so that we can perform better economically. We have found great success in the upstream work through the programs like TIGA-M. What Mendaki Education Network will do is to outreach to even more preschools and get them to participate together with us so that we can help parents build an environment that is conducive to the learning of their children even at home while they are at preschool. programs like Tiga M. These children can be nurtured uh, in those aspects, love for learning, love for books, by uh, creating an environment at home where you can use whatever utensils, whatever appliances, uh, environment at home to nurture their ability to develop in terms of literacy and numeracy. Yes, we will always compare ourselves with the performance of non-Malay students, but on our own, we have done well. However, if we improve further the performance in mathematics and science, that means they will be able to get into even better courses at higher level, whether it is at ITE, Polytechnics or even the University.
Well, having seen the progress of our CLF Education Network uh, programs, I think there is a need now to expand it further, uh, to involve more beneficiaries, children and their parents, and for that, we need new partners in the community. We should reach out to new partners, organizations, MAECs, the MOS, so that everyone can take ownership. We came on board eh, in assisting Tiger M to organize these uh, courses for parents and their child. We started the program in 2009 and it's still ongoing. Up to date, there are about 170 parents and children. Most of the residents are staying in that area to make them go to other areas which are far, far from them. Eh. It may be a burden to them to travel, no? so Asafa organizes classes for them, so it's near to the home. I would say that our community has come a long way in realising that education is honestly the best way to uplift our community. And because our, the community organisations as well as the leaders within the organisations and the leaders in the government work together, it is a powerful combination to bring our community to even higher levels in the education field. The key point is to develop this yearn for learning and thirst for knowledge. The Malay says, dahagakan ilmu, so that they will always want to improve themselves even after they have left school. This is something that becomes a requirement in Singapore and not just something that we should aim for.